Should we start? How do you film a video again? I don't know. I don't even know how to film. When's the last time we filmed a makeup video? Oh, such a throwback. Probably I was in Melbourne. The funny thing is probably all my makeup products are the same. <laughs> Mine are a little bit different actually. Oh, there you go. I feel like, excitement. yeah, it might bring some excitement. You can bring excitement through the chatting and I'll bring excitement through the makeup, <laughs> but not really. <laughs> okay. Hopefully I don't sneeze too much. I've been playing with the cats. Yeah. Tara has the most beautiful cats and I love them, but I'm allergic, so. Yeah, in a while, like when we first moved back last year, you built up quite a good tolerance, but since COVID restrictions, <laughs> Yeah, it's I mean, gone back. it's basically the saddest thing to come out of COVID in 2020. My <laughs> cat allergy immunity has fallen. <laughs> so are we starting the makeup now? Yeah. We just, just started the video. Okay. I was like, why are you putting a lipstick first? <laughs> what is that? That looks like it's a, a fancy lip ass lip balm. It's a Lancome lip balm. Look at this bougie oh. container. It's like oh. one of the ones you push the top and it's like, Chung! I have no lip balm. What's your first step then? My first step is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is the sample size because I saw the price of the full size and I was like, I am not buying that when I do not know how good it is. It's very expensive, That's but I'm generous, enjoying it. a generous sample size. Yeah, well, I actually calculated the cost per mil and I think this one might be better. I might have done my maths wrong, but... It's like pretty good for the sample size. It's like the mini. It's not the sample, I should say, it's the mini. My first step is to apply some SPF. Um, um, this is the Clinique sunblock that I've talked about a lot and I actually already have it on because I was contemplating driving to Tyra's house with my convertible top down. Yeah, actually we're gonna... Oh, it's got dark again. Oh no. It's, I feel like this could be the story of this video. It's just, it's too dark, it's too light. I do have some sunscreen. This is a Mexico Cosmetica Mini, because I only buy minis. <laughs> <Another I'm> mini. <laughs> but if we're going in the car, maybe yeah. I should put on some sunscreen. Fine. And I feel like such a beauty guru again. This is such a throwback. I'm going in with my Clinique Anti-Blemish Solution. Should we do a close-up? Oh yeah. That's the money shot. I don't think we're focused on the product. <laughs> I'm so out of practice. How do I even focus? How do Did I you already you? put on your sunscreen? Yeah, I put it on before I came over here. Oh, That's okay. I, I missed that. I was busy finding mine. I mean, we're filming this at four o'clock in the afternoon, actually, Shh, so you probably yeah. don't. <laughs> we're getting ready for the day. <laughs> we're getting ready for a trip to Maker. Uh, to Maker. To Maker. To Kmart. To Kmart. I've watched the Home Edit series on Netflix. Like every other person in. In lockdown. And like every other person I now want to buy all the organization stuff from Kmart and we might film a video so stay tuned it got dark again. My XL Beauty flat top foundation brush. This is unlabeled <laughs> eco tools. <laughs> Alright now this is this is a real throwback. For my powder I'm using <gasps> the Rimmel Stay Matte. Stay Matte. Oh my god. I was actually squeezing my foundation in the lid for a moment, so it's a bit gross. Yeah. Rimmel Stay Matte and Translucent. I used to use it all the time back in the day. Um, and then I ran out and I saw it at the supermarket. I, I've started buying makeup at the supermarket because <laughs> I'm that person. I mean, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. My main sources are the supermarket and the warehouse. Mm. I feel like like Alan, four years, year, four years. <laughs> I was like, you are Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, four years ago, was all about the expensive makeup and just wanted all the makeup, like hoarded it. But now I'm just like, I can't be bothered. Like, this is my make makeup in this bag. And then I have a drawer of lipsticks that I've had for like years that I just don't want to throw out. Cause you know, occasionally you do want, you know, a purple lipstick. Yeah. But this is the makeup I use. I have my desk right here. <laughs> pan across? It's not, no, let's not pan across. You don't want to see that. It's just a bit of a mess. Um, oh, I do have a new blush. This is the Essence Goodbye Vibes Baked Blush. How do okay. I... There we go. <laughs> How do I do it? Um, it's got a really nice like pinky blush with a like pearly gold reflect in it so it's kind of like a built-in highlighter and blush in one which is great when you're getting ready in the morning and you're just like I just want to do it quickly 
The great thing about filming with this camera is it makes your skin look a lot nicer than it actually is. Yeah, we could do a close up just for some reality. Oh, now it's gone bright again. This is... It's fine. I feel like sometimes the YouTube videos make people's skin... I mean, some people use smoothing filters, but we don't. But it's just like <laughs> the lens makes your skin look better than it actually is. Yeah. And sometimes you can be like, oh, I wish my face looked like that. Their face doesn't even look like that. I know. And it's like when everyone does the really intense contouring, it's like, <laughs> sure. As looks... I bring out my contour <laughs> <laughs> shade. <laughs> this is the NYX uh, blush and taupe that I use for contour that I've used for about a million years. I want, I want in on your mirror. <laughs> I've got another little mirror if you'd like. No, it's much more fun stealing yours. Did it really <laughs> bright again, or am I just that pale? <laughs> I, think, I think it's a little bit you're that pale, but a little bit. It's I'm a just, bit bright. If I lead back, I just blend into the wall. Um, got back into a bit of contour because I got back into that slight double chin life during COVID. <laughs> Relatable. Um, it's just really hard to be motivated to move as much um well it's they make it impossible to get a booking at the gym and like i'm, I'm not like, gonna say i tried <laughs> to get a booking at the gym I well just... i tried this is the longest i've not been to the gym since like joining the gym in, in university wow. i just you've got a like I'm usually someone that's very motivated, but I'm just like I don't <laughs> like relate. I don't like someone dictating when I can go to the gym. Or right. Like, like I was working and I'd booked a gym slot and I wanted to finish my work, so then I only got there with half an hour of my slot left. So um, it's like yeah. you had to leave. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. What should I do next? How do I make up? I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Okay, that's what I'm I I have the Imco Beauty magic brows. I think I've talked about this in a favorites video recently. It's got like a little little brush guy. He's like a fiber brow product. Kind of like the um, boy brow from um, whatchamacallit? Glossier but cheaper and more accessible. I could just get it at my local warehouse. I used to use the medium brown but this time I tried the dark brown and I kind of like it, you know? I feel like with those brow mascaras, you can kind of go for the the darker shade. I'm using my my iconic classic Benefit Gimme Brow. Oh, speaking of... Oh wait, no. No, actually, no. It's the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. My Gimme Brow has actually run out, but I have it in my makeup bag You anyway. should get the Imco Beauty one. I should. I have a spare. Do you want to buy it off me? Buy the off medium you? brow. They had two... Buy one, get one half price. So what? <laughs> Ooh, this is what they look you. like. I'm using this Lancome oh, one at the moment. Focusing. I don't care. <laughs> Quality YouTube. Um, I also, when I was getting, I was just, I went through this thing where I was like, I don't have any new makeup. I'm going to a wedding soon. I need to do something. And I bought a whole lot of like minis from Sephora and Mecca because I had some birthday. You know how they give you like birthday vouchers oh, and yeah. promo stuff. Um, but I bought the benefit precisely my brow. It's like one of those really skinny ones. So I feel like I used to use the Goof Proof and it was a bit intense. I don't know, when I look back at the time that I used to do my brows a lot. I feel like it was just, just a bit bold and it's so shocking after not wearing makeup for so long that you're like, whoa. I feel like it's, I feel like eyebrows are becoming less of a trend or maybe that's just like the people we follow. I maybe. don't know. I think it's just not quite, the trend is not quite as bold anymore. It's a little more like messy as well. Yeah, a little bit more messy, like a little bit more natural. And it's like, it's more defined than my natural brow, but like, I like to just not have it as a like, I mean from this lighting it looks quite bold, but it's just not quite as in your face, you know? I'm moving on to my eyes, and I'm using this Elizabeth Arden palette that I've had for years. Um, oh. I just love a brown, a matte brown in the crease, and then a little glitter, a little glittery brown on the lid, and that's that's me basically all the time. I just use this palette, and it's lovely. We we're just watching Emily in Paris, and the lead like French lady has this like really nice little smoky eyeliner thing going on, and I was quite inspired, but. 
I'm not quite sure how to recreate it with my current stuff. I just realized I put blush on, but I didn't put highlight on. So I'm going to do that now before I forget. This is my Too Faced Candlelight Glow that my friend Alex gave me like ages ago and it's still going strong. I quite like it. Oh yeah. Um, so I wouldn't say it's going strong, Helen. It's literally <laughs> and it's a bit loved. Can you see this? I think I can't tell if it's focused. I think it was. It's, oh, it's... <laughs> just stab myself in the eye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can we just have a sidetrack about how annoying the new um influencer guidelines are on the internet in New Zealand? Are they? Yeah. Have you noticed the the advertising whatever people? ASA. The ASA. Advertising Standards Authority. Yeah, those people. <laughs> I know they released something, but as I don't have any gifted product or non-paid for product anymore. Well, neither do I. And we don't have I, I know you work in social work media, in. so it's a lot more relevant. <laughs> but you have to say ad for any gifted product now. Yeah, and I'm I like, kind of get it, but I kind of, it's kind of a nice... Oh, this is quite exciting. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is French. This is a vibe. Bonjour. Bonjour. Comment ça va? There's a lady at work that um is French. And I always want to try like practice my French, but I simultaneously feel very embarrassed about it. Mm. Um, and I'm just also like the workplace isn't really a time to practice your French, but... Well, it could be. Um, I'm quite enjoying this. This might be my new, like, thing. And then I also recently got back into curling my eyelashes. Mm. I used to do this religiously. Even though one time I did trip and rip out my eyelashes. I you about to say that. that. Like, remember that one time? <laughs> that one time on the day of my granddad's funeral, I ripped out my eyelashes. Ah, <laughs> oh, the memories. <laughs> um, so now I'm careful. Just stand in a secure place is my advice. Or sit down. I quite like this, this little smoky eyeliner thing. Oh no. Oh no, what's happened? I blinked. Oh no. Looks oh, like no. we're going for a fat, fat, um, black eyeliner look. Um, I'm using for my eyelashes the Imco Beauty Extend Lash, which is like a tubular kind of mascara. So when you wash it off, it comes off in kind of like little sticky things. Does anyone else's makeup just get filthy? Like this has just got foundation, dead mascara. What if I just like full on chatting to the camera and I'm just here like <laughs> doing my eyeliner. I don't know why I'm doing this in the video because I'm really not great at it. I'm using this Clinique, Clinique pop thing. Actually, Ed gifted. This was what? gifted to us like five, five years, years ago. ago. <laughs> I still have it. It's fine. Surely. I mean, I feel like some people are quite strict with the expiry dates. This one didn't have an expiry date because it was a preview sample, but um, I'm just gonna put that on. I kind of just like to put it in the middle and then I don't leave it like this. So Did I my wings to... look okay? It's very good. What do you mean you're not good? I don't think I'm that good. It looks very good. What do you mean? This, um, this particular eyeliner pen works really well. It's from Mellow Cosmetics. Ah. And it's kind of like, um, you probably can't see it. It's like a felt tip situation. Um, just finishing that. I like to just dab it out with my fingers and it kind of looks more like a wash. It's a matte lipstick and I like that. Um, my favourite, if we're talking eyeliners, that I recently beauty purchased. I bought a full size, guys. It's not oh my just gosh. the bitty. Um, it's the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Eyeliner. Mm. It's very good. I need to try some Stila stuff. Um, I'm kind of done. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about it. <laughs> Letting the team down. I just have a lipstick to go. This is another hashtag ad gifted <laughs> from like oh five God. years ago. Don't they say you should only keep your mascara a month? Oh, wait, oh no, no, it's not it's a mascara, it's a lipstick. It's a lipstick. Okay. Um, Probably still just as bad. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I feel like I used to think all nude lipsticks were like the same. You know, like, oh, just a nude lipstick. But it's actually kind of hard to find one that suits 
your skin, skin tone. tone. Yeah. And this one does, so I've just kind of been using it a lot. Like, I have so many lipsticks and I just keep this one in my bag and use it all the time. I still have a really old Rimmel one that we got that's, um, it's a little bit glossy and it's like spiced something or paprika, I don't know what it's called. But every time I go out, I try to find it and I think it's been discontinued, so I'm just going to use it until it's like a nub. And I've never found anything as good. You know when you find a good one and then they discontinue it? And it's so disappointing. Yeah. Ellen's moving to Wellington. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to announce it? Are you just going to like Why be like, do... I'm in Wellington now. I was going was gonna to do an announcement video like next week. Oh, okay. But this will probably go up after that. So we can chat about it. Yeah. She's found an, uh, an apartment flat house. house. I thought you were going to say she's found a boy. <laughs> I mean that too, but I think everyone already figured that out from your road trip videos. Yeah. No many you were watched... a romantic couple. No many people watched my road trip videos though. I think it's because they were so long. Okay. You guys like a shorter video. We I might need know. to cut this footage back a bit. I don't know what people like anymore. Basically guys, what do you want to see on our YouTube channel? Let us know, because we don't really know. Like. Are we just not we just not relevant topics? anymore? We're irrelevant. We're getting old. I'm nearly thirty. I feel like we also don't do like clickbait like yeah, every true. other YouTube channel. Although I tried to with my vlog. Did you? <laughs> with my boyfriend. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Are you finished your makeup? I am. Should we do a close up? It's a Hello. bit bright. She can't see much. Uh... I feel like I look. Way too glam. I don't usually look like this. I feel like, yeah, it's weird. I feel like COVID has really changed the uh, whole makeup thing. Because this would be like super basic makeup for mm. me before. Whereas now it's like, oh my goodness, I look so dressed up. Mm. <laughs> so that's, that's the end of this little like chatty get ready with me everyday makeup routine. But not everyday. Yeah, because, this isn't everyday. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to think of a new title. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.